chance to shine. Oh, yeah, and this is a little bit of a pick em if you ask me. Jay DeVillier playing amazing, but we will see. All right, Jay DeVillier to serve. Let's play pickleball. Wow. Schick stays back and beats him with the two -y. That is a good start. Unbelievable two-handed backhand. He's actually going to med school at North Carolina, but he was very clear with me. I'm an NC State fan, so uh, got to go with your undergrad. Big it, man, Jay DeVillier from France, uh, one of the dads on tour and uh, has just had the staying power and now he wants to get back to a Sunday. What makes him so good? Just the court coverage, big athlete, around 6'3", six, 6'4", six, that one-handed backhand, but he's added a nice little two-handed backhand as well. Really everything, has all the shots. Off the tape, it goes deep. Yeah, Jay is like, if you were to just mold a pickleball, like this athlete is everything. For sure, he has all the shots. Maybe hand speed could be a, yeah. a little slow at times, but compared to obviously the top of the of sport. Course. He's got that razzle dazzle as a, as a Frenchman, likes to flare. Maybe sometimes a detriment. That's just nasty oh, again sick. with a very compact Tui there, which is not typical. Nice little flick underneath that ball. Schick is, is very impressive and getting better and better by the bunt, it seems. Yeah, Schick, if you're not familiar with the story and why I call him Doc, he is <laughs> taking a year off of med school to just play pro pickle, and then he's diving all the way in starting next year. So uh, not just a great player, but a smart cookie as well. Jay DeVillier was drafted into Premier, the top level of Major League Pickleball. Schick was taken in Challenger, so he will be a player just for one year. Yeah, and, and De Villiers, another thing is where's where's the attitude? Where's where's everything? Where's the confidence? You right. heard very confident self-talk there. I think for De Villiers, it's, it's that margin between his best level and his lowest level. Can it come? Can it? Can that become closer? Right, because at the highest level, Jay is one of the best players in the game. His lowest level, it's not. It's not close to that. That that mark. I think the players that are having those consistent results, the difference between their, their best level and their worst is very close. Yeah, I think Staxrud lives that to the fullest with making five finals and yeah. singles. You cannot have a crater <laughs> in there anywhere or you'll get beat. What a battle, and De Villiers <laughs> makes his way up to the kitchen and takes the best point of this match. Schick at the end there is, I want to get out of this point. I'm going to rip it as hard as I can. Oh, Schick was heading on the wrong <laughs> way on a runway street there, but got away with it. Yeah, the De Villiers two in the backhand, much improved, still a work in progress. Boy, we had full pirouette. All right, so you saw that his balance was affected, and uh, that the momentum. So Howard Hepworth is saying you were spinning in circles and never <laughs> regained your footing. So momentum is perpetual. 
Collins, like seriously? And then uh, momentum problems, and now I have tape problems too. All kinds of problems out there. And that's a great read by Davillier. Some players would stay back and not not let that opportunity be taken by themselves. So good start here for Jay. Schick flying all over the court as he's known for, but De Villiers is in command here. Seven, two. And another much, one. Much better two-handed backhand from De Villiers. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it, challenging every limit, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you, it's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Uh, if you need that magazine, that's, that's, that's the place to go. So I uh, appreciate them being part of our coverage. Wow, and that ball just never got to him. And uh, Schick's a player that usually plays pretty even keel, a little yeah. frustrated. You could see in that shot of Jay, the wind whipping through the trees in the background, and he is at game point. A one-e, a two-e, yeah, a four-hand. It, it was everything in that point. Nice to see Schick finding his feet there up at the kitchen line, gaining that balance. No momentum problems <laughs> there. Man, that's a great volley. That's unbelievable. Odds say Jay would should or would go back yes. cross court there, having the balance to control it up the line. And Jay Davillier dominant here over the NC State's own Colin Schick. So here's the question. He's played tennis with all the best players in the game's history. Can Colin Schick make the locals happy? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see too now the change of size, yes. a little bit different wind. I think wind is playing a factor out there right now. And if you're just joining us, the wind is in the face of Colin Schick and f moving to his right. And we've seen some very talented players take bad swings at the ball because the wind is moving the ball away from them. is out of the picture and comes flying back there. He's had so many highlight reel plays like that. He's never really out of a point, no. ever. See, De Villiers singles record. Nearly two out of three wins. Good pressure there from Schick. Again, this is just round of 16. This feels like it could be a quarter or, or even better. What a volley. Yeah, good pressure into the Schick forehand. I think he sets up better on that backhand side, so I like De Villiers pressuring that side quickly.
Man, is that nice. Yeah. Again, a smart drop to the forehand side of Schick. Yeah, let's that ball play him a little bit. Gets jammed up. And a terrific Tui from Jay Devillier, and it's been positive throughout. Yeah. Obviously, the scoreboard is part <laughs> of that as well, but uh, really marching up to the line with a purpose here is Jay. Two, one. Wow. <laughs> that is in. So this is a display of the one -y and the two -y over there, and it is sensational. I like that return a little better. Return into the forehand side. Not let him get comfortable hitting those two-handers or one-handers. Push deep there. So this is Schick's got to go now because that confidence in the level for De Villiers is high today. Oh, my. He might have had time. He got there a little too fast, Matt. I wanted to see him dive for that one. Oof. I mean, just fantastic pickleball from De Villiers. Holding that to the last second. Most of the match has gone cross court with that two handed backhand. Playing great pickleball right now. And to keep that in down the line with the wind yep. taking that away over the highest part of the net, let's talk how hard that shot was <laughs> in a sentence. Man, that's good. Again, Schick flying all over the court, but uh, De Villiers just patrolling. Seems to have all the answers right now. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport, we are pickleball. She wants to say, hey, I deserve the number two, and she certainly does, but uh, wants to have the results to prove it. Wow, and a clean pass out of the break. He's doing a lot right out here, Che de Villiers. A new Vulcan paddle, a little more control, power, all of it. Yeah, so short return, just pounced on and didn't overhit it either, just perfectly into the open court. And yeah, a whole new line of Vulcan paddles are coming out. And yep. uh, if you needed any marketing help, there it is. Just watch this match from this player. Just wide there, Schick can't believe it, but uh, he is getting run over here today. Yeah, not much words here, just great play by De Villiers, covering every single angle, making the right decisions. What were we saying? It's the same guy. <laughs> well, this is... This is where Schick has, I mean, this is a guy that fights like anybody. That stayed in. Schick can't even believe that that stayed in. And the gust went sideways and kept it in right there. Wow. Another gorgeous inside out forehand and we are at match point. One. 
Great, great return there from Colin. But his best stuff has even betrayed him. Now <laughs> yeah. the pressure has been Match remarkable. Point. Match point number two. Ten one. And that Point. will do it. Match Jay De Villiers, just dominant here three. on Humana three. Championship three. Court, takes out the local favorite. And he is cruising. The official ball of the PPA Tour. How do you bring your best stuff out here? You're playing against a guy that played tennis here and you were absolutely dominant. What enabled you to just be at the top of your game here today? Uh, you know, uh, I have been uh, taking the last tournament off in March just to prepare and train. Uh, coming to that match, playing against Colin. Colin is a very good player. He had some amazing results. So I uh, I was just uh, trying to to be locked in and play uh, very strong right away, and uh, I felt like uh, I once I had the momentum I could play a little bit freer. So it was uh, definitely a great performance. So Jay, that backhand, unbelievable one-hander, two-hander, drops, drives. What's the decision-making process of why you choose one versus the other? But obviously firing on all cylinders today. Yeah, a lot of players have been, uh, you know, uh, oh. working hard on that back end roll. So, I, uh, with the new paddle that I got, I was able uh, to to implement that in my game. Now it's more uh, being uh, selective and knowing when to use which one. Uh, I'm still struggling at time, but uh, uh, again, very pleased today how I performed. The condition were not as easy as it looks. It's still a little bit windy and it's swirling <laughs> a little bit. So, um, so I was very uh, pleased overall how I managed to. Uh, makes the right decision at times. So Jay, we, we love seeing you on the court, but you manage a lot. You're one of the dads on tour. How do you, how do you <laughs> juggle all that and still play at the height of, of pickleball? It's not easy. No, it's not, but um, I'm very lucky at home. I have, uh, my wife is just uh, is a real champ there. She's behind the scene. We don't talk too much about her, but she's the one uh, taking care of our free boys. Um, so really credit to her. She's, uh, you know, so, so helpful and so supportive of me traveling so much. So without her, I would not be able to compete and, um, you know, play at that high level. So, you know, teamwork. <laughs>